You're listening to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, if you don't change, you die. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Tim Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Uh-huh. See, it's more than the game that we change. Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. I'm your boy, Tim Mangali. Grateful that you are here. If you're watching this, hit that subscribe button below. Share this with somebody who needs to hear it. That's all I ask is share the podcast with somebody who needs to hear the message. All right. Let's talk about this, my friends. So last week we had our circle of champions in town. I've had a business partner for the last uh, several years. It's been an amazing man, right? We, we had a great run. And then it was time to cut. It was time to move on. Like It was clear for both of us. We were like, hey, the right move is for us to move on. And, you know, this change, this concept of change and shifts in the marketplace and, and innovation, a lot of people are very afraid to make the change or to make the move. A lot of people don't actually want to listen to what's right. A lot of people see that they need to cut and let go of and move forward. But most people refuse. Why? Because change is hard. Like you know you need to change something in your life, but you refuse to do it because of fear or because of it's uncomfortable, so you, you don't change. And you eventually die. And you may not be buried in the ground, but make no mistake about it. You walk around empty, hollow, a shell of yourself, And the reason I'm bringing this up, again, a lot of people right now in our organization, in our clientele, they're like, whoa, where did this come from? That was your business partner. You guys have been inseparable. I'm like, yeah, it's just called life. You know, it's called life. And when it's time to move on, you got to be able to move on. You have to listen, cut, let go, and then move forward. I am a guy that's like, hey, look, when it's time to go, we go. When it's time to let go, we let go. When it's time to cut, cut clean, hard, and fast, and move forward. We talked about this on the podcast before where most people don't have problems, they have decisions. But not making a decision then festers and causes more problems. Now there's a lot of uncertainty, like I'll say it on the podcast and it's okay. I love it, right? There's people who are like, wow, what happened? And your business partner was my guy, hey, I'm gonna opt out and here's what I gotta say to that. I, I love this, you know why I love it? If people want out of something, they're gonna find a reason. You know, I see people, part of the church that I grew up in, and if they, if you want out of a church or any church, you're going to find a reason to get out. Like you don't even have to blame the church, but most people will blame the church. If people don't want to coach with a specific program, they're going to find a reason to get out. And then they're going to use that reason to feel good about their not wanting to do the work. Look, come on. To build a life of significance, to build a life of real radical results, to build a life of wealth and impact, it's hard. It gets tough. You know, people think they know what it, what they can do and, and how easy it is to go do anything at the top, top, top. And again, I was talking to a good friend of mine who's got guys in the NFL. He's like, all those guys are like, dude, it's hard, man. You're a commodity. You're just a number. And like, well, of course you are. That's how the world works. If you are an employee at a company, you are a number. NFL players, NBA players, there's, there's a reason why it's the players against the league. So if you're looking for a way out of something, that all you have to do is own, hey, I don't want to do the work, and I'm bringing this up, because to get to the top is challenging. Most people today, most people today, life's not too bad. Again, I'm not talking about what's going on out there in the world. I'm talking about right here where I live in the United States. For the most part, if you're in my rooms or programs, you're listening to this podcast, you're in some type of mentoring, coaching program. You've been, some, you've been someone's mastermind. And I remember I joined a mastermind almost 10 years ago. This is like nine years ago. And I pay a guy, and I pay him all this money, and I'm thinking, okay, this guy's gonna like save me. And then I got really mad at him because the coaching program wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So I, within like four months, I quit. I just decided not to show up. I'm gonna show him. I paid him up front, a good chunk of money, and then I got mad. Coach reaches out to me, he's like, hey, I'm still here. Now, if you decide that you want to quit, that's on you. But don't blame me and don't blame the program. Just admit that you quit. I was like, what the, I I was mad. (laughs) I was mad. And he was right. I was trying to blame him for the results I did not have, for the work I had not put in yet. And sometimes you put in work, but the season and the time, it needs a little more maturation, right? It needs this period of, what is it, growth. Like like, the, the, the little caterpillar doesn't become a butterfly in like 10 seconds. It takes time. So when there's change, 
change in your home, change in your neighborhood, right? We call these traumatic experiences. Death of a loved one, becoming an empty nester, a child going into college, like, whoa, these are traumatic experiences. Change of job, change of location, divorce, and there's a lot of traumatic experiences, aka change, that's going to happen in your life. It is inevitable. The greatest thing you can do as a game changer is to look at square in the eyes and say, cool, I accept change. I embrace change. I run into the change. Like if change was like fire and heat, I run into the heat. Some of you guys are gonna avoid it. You're gonna kick the can down the road. You're not gonna do what you feel you need to do. You're gonna stay in a horrible relationship. You're gonna stay in a horrible job. You're gonna just let your soul become empty and drained and you're gonna just basically walk around like the living dead because you refuse to step into change. I can tell you right now, we are stronger than we've ever been. And it's not because like something external, it's because a decision internally as a team, we're like, hey, great, look, change happens. Again, I went from Utah County to Orange County, Orange County to Okaloosa County. We made these big moves from Utah to California, California to Florida. I traveled and put on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles over the last decade. Masterminds, coaches, business models, ship this, do this program again, another change, we've got this program called Immersion. Shield made an immersion and Titan immersion. This this was the flagship for almost 10 years. And we're shutting it down and we're done. And there's no more and we're done. And it's hard because that's how we've made our money. That's kind of the flagship of what we do in this organization. And yet I know that if you don't change and you don't innovate and you don't level up, you die. Blockbuster is a great example. Nokia is a great example. Sears is a great example. I mean, I, we, there's so many companies that were not built to last because they refused to change. They refuse to cut and let go and move on. So take a look at your life right now, physical, spiritual, relational, financial, and your physicality. Is there something that you're like, dude, I need to be done with this. I need to be done eating these types of foods. I need to stop doing this thing. I need to stop staying up late at night. I need to hydrate. Like, you got just one thing. Have you ever wanted to change your mind? Like really transform your mindset so you can get a different result? If you have and you have failed in doing so many other things, I invite you to join us for our two day in-person event. It's called Unstoppable Mindset. And that URL is you, the letter U, mind, M-I-N-D, live, L-I-V-E dot com, you, mind, live dot com. Once again, that is you, mind, live dot com. That is our two day in-person event. Now, if you're like, Tim, I can't make it in person, guess what? We also have virtual tickets and nobody does virtual like us. Check that out right now, Unstoppable Mind, which is youmindlive.com. Spiritually, there's so many spiritual examples of people, right, of people who knew they needed to change. And when they didn't choose to be humble and they didn't choose to go, they were humbled to the dust. Like they were forced. That's what I found is going to happen to people inside of your relationships. Either change and level up and become more connected or die, which leads to miserable couples raising children to see, oh, I guess marriage isn't that great. That'd be miserable. And of course, financially, your future, your money, change, adapt, adjust. Your internal economy is more important than the external economy. And I know, I get it. There's all kinds of stuff going out there in the marketplace. Well, I mean, we got wars and rumors of wars and men's hearts are waxing cold and people are angry and if you're watching mainstream media uh, dude go go slap yourself <laughs> i know some of you do not believe that that's the truth i hope you know that that's not the truth that is a whole nother conversation but start paying attention to what your internal economy is. Start paying attention to the way that you embrace change. Start paying attention to the direction you're headed right now. Because where there's uncertainty, right, there's an opportunity. And where there's an opportunity, everybody can grow. Everybody can get better. Everybody has to level up, rise up, innovate. And if you don't, you die. The good news is, it's your choice. So what will you do? Change or die? I invite you to change and become a game changer. Hey guys, if the podcast resonates, if it touches your heart and soul and it gives you greater vision and clarity to go build the life you want so you can make a difference inside of your world, your family's world, and the community itself, all I ask that you do is share the podcast forward. We don't run ads, we don't have sponsors, but we can make a difference and help people become game changers for their lives, for their families, if we share the message. So share this with somebody who needs to hear it and have an amazing day. 
And with that said, my friends, if this has been helpful, share it with somebody. Go do something with this today. Go change your life. Go be, be, join us in, be, in Game Changer. We got some great things coming down the pipe. I'm excited to share those with you. Until next time, I'm out. Let's go. go, 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 uh -huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down, heavy, you get your pen up. Wanna be the greatest, we ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hating, we ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.